Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso here on SABC3. Now, scientists at Harvard and MIT in the U.S. have discovered that a tiny DNA tweak can cause the body to burn excess fat. Could this mean that a cure for obesity is only an injection away? Although it's thought that obesity is largely due to overeating and a lack of exercise, researchers now think that genetics play a crucial role in whether fat is stored or used up as energy. Joining us in studio to weigh in on the conversation is human genetics professor uh, Raj S. Ramasar. Professor Raj, so good to have you on our couch this morning. Thank you. So this is a very, very important topic. I know that a lot of people are struggling with weight and for a long time we've thought that it only comes mm. down to eating right and getting exercise. But could genetics also be playing a role here? Yeah, there's little question that genetics has to play a role uh, in relation to what we eat and how we metabolize it. So, you know, whether you're a single-celled organism or a human being, We've evolved over time uh, in terms of the nutrients we take in, how we metabolize it, and to optimally use those nutrients. Mm. So there were times when we as human beings first evolved in Africa, and there may well have been a shortage of nutrients. Yeah. So we, the evolutionary process made sure that we conserved our energy or optimally metabolized uh, nutrients to produce yeah. energy. However, if, when that same organism ends up in an environment where there may be an excess of nutrients, then obviously the body can't burn up enough, and that ends up being stored. And I'm generalizing in a very big way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's really the, the, the metabolic process. Okay. So it's definitely a combination of your genetic material in combination what you have access to and exposure to in the environment. Wow, okay, so how does this kind of DNA manipulation actually work? What is the process involved? Okay, so the article that was written in, in the New England Journal of Medicine by colleagues at, at Harvard and MIT uh, uh, describes some superb research, and this is not something completely new. The FTO gene has been known for quite a while. However, the FTO genes uh, interactions with a range or a cascade of other genes is now made more clear. Mm. And its relationship, particularly to two other genes, is really what's been described in this particular paper. Yeah. And in fact, these researchers have shown what we've learned about many other complex biological pathways. It's never the product of just one gene mm. that has to do with, you know, whether you can see or whether you can metabolize glucose, whatever but it's a range of genes. However, there's often one crucial gene, for example, FTO, that may be seen as a hugely important part, sort of the corner of a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so understanding this, finding this particular gene and how it might relate to others is really the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And we're getting a clearer picture of how this gene interacts with others. Yeah. That's in the first instance. Your question about um, the new discovery, really, which is what this research is about, is how researchers are able to engineer. In other words, you know, what's described in the lay press is that some people have this gene and others don't. That's actually a falsity. We all have that gene. Every one of us on the planet has that gene. However, there are variations or genetic changes or mutations within that gene that actually uh, will, will, will end up... Um, uh, depending how we metabolize glucose, whether you're yeah. able to metabolize it faster or slower, and which may be a little bit different to the way I do, and then ultimately how we interact with glucose, for example, in the environment yeah. Yeah. and what we need to store. Wow, yeah. Professor Raj, this is definitely a very, very fascinating topic, as is human genetics. We want to thank you so much for joining us. We sure. have run out of time, unfortunately, but hopefully we can continue this conversation at a later stage. Absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you. Well, when it comes to weight loss, um, I know that genetics does play a role, but I think that we all need to just watch nutrition as well and try and get some exercise and, you know, find whatever options that we can to make sure that we live a very healthy lifestyle. It is time for us to check out what's happening in the world of news. Graham has the details.